I found a flying piggy bank to use in another hummingbird portrait session. We're going to skip uh, the setup, you know, the actual shooting and go straight to Lightroom. So I uploaded the photos and there are 68 of them. There are some setup shots, uh, some real shots. So this is a uh, setup shots. Um, so this is Chaser coming. So this is a very sharp photo um, on Chaser, but, <clears throat> but the composition is not there. Right. So this composition is not there. This is better, but still, um, if we consider the composition, it's not really that great. So none of this is really that good. This one maybe. Um, so this one, if we crop it to, you know, one by one, and we tighten it a little bit, let's see what we have. Yeah, I kind of like this, you know. And if we play with the shadow a little bit, you know, open up Chaser a little bit more, right? turn down the highlights so um, so our piggy isn't so shiny. Um, and the light that below the piggy is almost like he's lifting off, uh, or she's lifting off. Um, so that's a that's a to me that's a keeper. Okay, this one is reasonable, um, but I like the other one better. Um, I like this one much better than this one. Why? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so all these are from that one session where um, the first session, I guess, right? Then we have the second session where Piggy is really like, I'm basically take a much lower angle uh, as if Piggy has lift off. Okay. And then, um, then I think that the entire session um, Chaser show up one time and that was it. Okay, so I took one photo and that's it, nothing else. <laughs> then it flew away. So this happens all the time. Okay. Um, so then we continue to do something. Okay, for example, a shot like this one, um, to me there's potential, okay. Um, potential. Um, for example, something like that, okay. But again, I mean, the chaser is very sharp, relatively sharp, uh, but not picky. So let's see if we have other ones that are reasonable maybe this one okay so maybe this one okay i kind of like this one so the whole thing is we we have this piggy that wants to fly and Chaser is urging it on. It's like, let's go, let's go. Yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. Okay. So right now, the the piggy shot is kind of too bright. Okay. So if we go into Lightroom in the brush mode, for example. You know, we can basically highlight the entire piggy. Yeah. Well, maybe we can use other features like, you know, select pink and then make it darker. But let's see how this works. Okay. So basically we can make piggy a little bit darker. And then if we go back here and try the color, let's say red. Okay, let's say we make red a little bit redder, but this is too global. Okay, so if we go into color mixer, I think that's the thing. And we say, okay, we want red to be a little bit redder. The saturation a little bit more. Okay, 
and luminous a little bit darker okay. so let's see okay so this is after the color mixing this is before okay this is before the color mixing this is after okay so we have a little bit more red okay not dramatic a little bit more okay so actually chaser's throat you know becomes a little bit more vibrant as well so I think this is reasonable okay. um, and there's a little dot here you know sometimes we I catch like little things sometimes I think you know I was like can it be UFO okay. but most likely just a little bug or something speck uh, in the air this camera is actually very very clean okay so let's go through the rest of the photos a little bit so that's a that's a reasonable one I like that one too um, this one I don't know if it's sharp oops I'm still in this healing mode that's not sharp so it's uh, not gonna work out but this one is sharp you know this is like they're flying together okay so let's say if I do a one by one and I kind of prop it a little bit tighter okay. it's like now they are sort of flying together okay I'm gonna do the color mixing okay so hue a little bit stronger saturation a little bit more and luminous a little bit darker okay. here we go back to the curves for oops don't want to do that when I do the curve I want to do the overall curve okay like I get chaser to be a little slightly and make the darker darker white wider um, Turn down the highlights because uh, because in this photo, you know, um, Chaser is not as shiny, right? Um, Piggy is shining all over the place because it's ceramic. <laughs> okay. Um, we can potentially do more work, uh, but I think this is a reasonable first shot. Okay. Again, I see the spec here. Alrighty, that's uh, two, three photos that we get, um, and I'm, you know, to me, I'm happy with that. Um, um, spent about 15, 20 minutes on Lightroom doing croppings and selections, deleting and stuff like that. We started out with about 70 photos. Now it's down to 19, I believe. Yep, 19 photos. Um, so essentially we have um, two kind of like a two scenarios one is um, at the eye level essentially right so the camera is at the eye level of the PD and chaser um, so the photos looks something like this right? so it's kind of um, more like close and intimate uh, kind of a photos and then we have these high angles or sharp angles where we point up um, so this you know give us a, a different feel right um, so I like um, I like both I wish uh, well I guess it is what it is um, if we do a better job you know if piggy is more malleable uh, we can you know see piggy's eyes and the nose we don't always see the nose pointing up that's probably better um, but I like the perspective of bringing chaser and uh, piggy together and one thing I do want to note um, is um, the belly of chaser okay um, you know because there is a bottom light right I have a flash underneath um, where piggy sits um, so the light actually shoots up okay and really light up the uh, it really lights up the bottom of um, the hummingbird 
you know, and result in photos like this. So there's there's actually clarity. There's um, of you know the throat and uh, the belly. To me, that's um, that that really adds a lot to the photo. You know, like this one. Um, if I don't have a bottom light, you know, this will be basically darkness, uh, or at least one side of it will be dark. Um, so this a little bit bottom line really adds a lot to the photo, um, you know. So I don't have to light as harsh, um, and because because the light coming from uh, underneath, right, at an angle, um, sort of parallel to to the hummingbird, to chaser, uh, the texture actually shows up, you know. It really shows up the texture. Yeah. So that's all I want to share today. Um, so at the end, I'm going to have all these 19 photos uh, run in succession. Thank you so much.